all right guys welcome back to another killer video for today and today we have some plague gameplay now plague is a killer i don't really play too often mostly because i just don't really uh i don't really enjoy playing her too much but recently i don't know i just wanted to play plague so <laughs> i guess that's what we're gonna have for today so let's get straight into it we have a really standard plague build today first up we have infectious fright which is a perk from the plague herself actually where whenever i down anybody with any attack i will basically be be able to hear anyone within my terradius Alright guys, welcome back to another killer video for today and today we have some Plague gameplay for you all. Now you may notice I don't really play Plague too much and that's just mostly because I don't really enjoy the killer as much but today I felt like playing some Plague so here we go. So for our build we're going to have a really standard Plague build. First up we have Infectious Fright which is a perk from the Plague herself actually where whenever I down anybody, any survivor within my terror radius will scream and reveal their location to me for 6 seconds. This will essentially just let me know whenever somebody's around me and if I'm in my Corrupt Purge, I can go ahead and try and snowball off of that since it's it really does make Plague a pretty strong killer whenever she's in her Corrupt Purge and she has several people around her that are all injured. Next up we have Corrupt Intervention, another one of Plague's perks for whenever you whenever you spawn in rather. Uh, the three generators that are the first away from you will be blocked off by the entity for two minutes at the start of the trial, meaning that you can really just set up around an area if you want to. You can really just figure out what area of the map you want to control and it also she's so loud and it lets you uh it lets you find survivors pretty early on as well because for most survivors see corrupt intervention and they'll run across the map trying to find a generator to do instead next up we have pop goes a weasel and so allow me to kick a generator for 25 percent of its total progress for a minute after i've um after i've hooked somebody and this is really solid for helping out in a three gen scenario and just to slow down generators in general and last but not least, of course, we have Barbecue and Chili, which will allow me to see where survivors are if they're 40 meters or more away from the hook for 4 seconds after I hook someone. And it'll also give me double blood points towards the end of the game. Now for my add-ons, we have the Healing Salve to slightly decrease the Vile Purge cooldown. And the Olibanum Incense, I think that's how you say that, to slightly increase my movement speed while I'm charging my Vile Purge. Uh... I know most of you don't watch this, but if you do, just let me know. Do you think, do you want me to keep going through every single perk and explaining what they do and like add-ons and stuff? Or do you want me to just kind of hover over them and if you want, you can just stop and pause the video to read them? Uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll see you guys in the video. Dude, my plague looks really cool. <laughs> Uh, for a second, I thought this fountain to my right, that white thing, was a generator that got blocked off by, uh... Oh, we have four gens on this side of the map. That's actually fucking incredible. I saw two people as well. I thought that was a generator blocked off by Corrupt as well. Uh, it's hard to get her on that angle. Someone's on the chest right now, so I get a... Guaranteed, uh, good bit of spit on them. Take the item. You go down if you take the item. What are you doing? I'm gonna body block her here so she can't get to that, uh, that doorway. I don't know how it didn't, uh, let me pick her up, unfortunately. God, how much have I spit on her? I guess I just missed a lot more than I think I have. Alright, she's finally injured, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop. Bill, you body blocking asshole. I wanna get Bill injured before I leave and go back for her, this girl over here. This is the area of the map I want to control. I have four generators back here that are all going to be really nice for me. Where is she? I don't hear her. So she's kept running. Plague is really nice because you can you don't have to worry too much about the perks like Iron Will because you can always hear people. Ah, uh, that guy insta-cleansed. Holy shit. I know I'm running across the map for this girl and I don't usually, uh, I don't usually like doing that. But, I think it's worth in this scenario because, as I said, I have all my generators on the side of the map. If I have basement here as well, that'd be amazing. Aw, oh, yes. <laughs> now that pool that the Bill cleansed at, I don't know if you can see it all the way in the back over there next to the generator, the other white thing. Uh, that's a pool- Oh fuck. That's a pool I'm not really gonna worry about ever, basically, because it's not really something I'm gonna- I, Like, I'm not gonna go to that side of the map, basically. I want to try and get this person infected before I go pick up. Get off my generator. I'll vomit. Or I won't vomit on the generator because I'm bad, I guess. 
Okay, these people literally just fucking run forward whenever they're in chase. It's really important to identify what kind of survivors you're playing against whenever uh, whenever you're in this game. I'm gonna go ahead and... She got a fastball out of that? You know what? Props to her. I'm gonna pick up this corrupt and uh, actually I'm gonna kick this pop quiz a weasel just to keep it at zero. Even though it's already basically at zero, I just want to make sure I keep it at zero. And I'm gonna pick this up and go back over towards the basement. Are they back here? Someone just climbs over to the left and the other person's right here. I want to make sure not to get stunned there, because if I get stunned I lose my power immediately. Bill, did you leave the... No, he didn't leave. Now keep in mind, when you're holding a corrupt, you're actually really fucking fast, all things considered. Now Infectious Fright tr uh, triggered on him, so I'll come over here, pressure this girl out. Damn, that's really lucky for her. I gotta hit on her there regardless. And this is the nice thing about Plague, you don't actually need to be too accurate with her, since it's a stream of vomit that you're spitting out. You can just kind of spray and pray, basically. Alright, I think I'll hook her, uh... I don't think I'm gonna pick up this uh, corrupt to my left yet. Actually, if anything, I'm gonna vomit on her now, because in going into Vile Purge, you wanna vomit at their feet, because that's where their hitbox is for some reason. And I'll come back kick this generator by the killer shack. I don't see that generator off in the distance with any progress, so I'm not too worried about that. If Bill had unbreakable, he would have used it by now, so very unlikely that he does have it. And I can put him back in the basement and keep my pressure up. Basement's really solid for uh, for Plague, uh, since she's a killer that can hit multiple people at once. If you pick him up, I just sound him gun. Oh, I guess he hasn't recovered that much. Vault it. Nice, dude. This arena's a solid survivor. I'm gonna pick him up and just take my hook. They're gonna go ahead and keep cleansing, and uh, the more they cleanse in this area, the more pools I'm gonna have in this area, so I'm gonna be able to shut it down even harder while I'm mid-chase. Thankfully, McMillan has a lot of loops that are pretty solid for Plague, where she can vomit over them. That girl's running over to cleanse, she's doing nothing. Hmm. I don't know where the third person is, I haven't really seen them all game either. Yeah, Zarina just cleansed back here, these guys love cleansing. Which is fine by me, because I'll just keep vomiting on them like that, and then they're going to go for the unhook right now, so I'm going to kind of pick this up. Yeah, as I said, it's fine by me, because it just means that they're going to keep going for... They're going to keep giving me Corrupt Purge over and over again. They're going to run out to the left, right? That's where I would go. I hear Bill out here. Ah! Now, I didn't necessarily want to down hit up. Oh, yeah, I don't blame him for disconnecting. I didn't want to down him there, but the person who unhooked him just kind of hid, so what am I supposed to do in that scenario, right? Oh, I didn't expect him to move that way. Oh, that didn't hit him, really. Damn it. Play's kind of like Huntress, where you do want to look for when people are locked in an animation and vomit them, on them, but I don't really have the most experience with Plague, so I'm not really too great with her just yet. I'm going to vomit over this just in sheer hope of hitting him somewhere. Yeah, that was just kind of a Hail Mary. He did a really good job, though, of denying me as much of my Corrupt Plague as possible. Yeah, I don't even know where the fuck he went, I'll be honest. I think he just kept going left, right? Yeah, fuck it. I'll take this pool now, since it's a pool that's on the side of the map I don't really care too much about. And these guys love cleansing, it'll just give them uh, more time to, uh, more spots to waste time, basically, by cleansing. Uh, I was hoping that she would panic. Yeah, I was good. Uh, she played that a little bit too greedy. I was gonna say something about it, but I decided not to. Uh, just because I wasn't sure if I was gonna get the hit on her there. Where are these guys? Like, they are not coming over to the side of the map at all. Yeah, they just three jumped themselves really hard, and I'm not. I'm not even gonna bother chasing her back there. There's no point. I'd rather come back and make sure I can secure my three gen a little bit harder because I still have three people complete or two people completely unaccounted for. I'm worried about that killer check generator. Oh, and the hatch is here as well. That's awesome. So yeah, bit by bit, I'm basically just going to take control over this side of the map. The killer check generator has no progress. She just healed herself. I saw that ace over to the left, so I'm going to pick up this pool and I'm going to head over towards him. He's going to be heading over to the generator. Just kicked most likely because that's the one he was on before. I hear him in the grass right here. It is not easy to fucking hit people when they're going around corners like that, dude. 
Now keep in mind with the plague, you don't really want to be going for more than uh, one hit in a single use of your corrupt. Or sorry, in a, in a single uh, stream of vomit because you don't actually, it's impossible for you to get any extra hits with it. You can only get one uh, on, at least per person, you can only hit them once with a single stream. Let's see where these guys are. It's infectious, or sorry, barbecue. I'm going to pretend I didn't see this girl, so I'm going to keep looking to the right here and I'm going to double back and come over here. See how I could only hit her the one time there? That's alright though. She just goes down for free there. I can maybe even get an injury on the Zarina. Ah, uh, nevermind, she was smart. She made distance early. Hey Ace! I'm gonna go ahead and vomit on this girl. I think she's dead on hook anyway, but fuck it. Might as well for the points, right? <laughs> Are you gonna take it down for her? I could have gone for a hit on him there if I, uh, if I had agitation. Unfortunately, I don't have agitation. <laughs> All right, so Zarina's heading over towards that generator. Ace is still on that side of the map, and I know Hatch is over here as well. So I'm in more than a good enough spot here to come over and pressure her. Did she leave early? Yeah, she did. This Zarina just makes distance as early as possible, and it's a really smart strat. Some survivors try and play super, super aggressive and cocky whenever they're uh, they're playing, and there's no need to, honestly. I'll vomit on. Actually, I'm gonna vomit on this one as well. I basically just vomit on them so that if somebody, so that if somebody that isn't sick uh, gets on them, then they'll end up. Uh... Oh, I thought she was still back here. If somebody that isn't sick gets on them, then it'll basically just give me a notification. I don't know why, but I just have a weird feeling that this arena is on in one of those lockers inside there, but I also don't really want to bother checking because that's just going to be a lot of time wasted for me if I do. I'd rather come over here. Yep, that's exactly where I wanted to come over. I knew exactly where they were. I'll vomit on this again so that if they get back on it for whatever reason, I can just get a free, uh, free stick onto them. I saw Ace's scratch marks off in the distance, so I know that he's uh, he's running off in that direction, and I just barely tagged his arena with the end of my vomit there. Where's this Ace? Is he coming back? Yeah, these are scratch marks that are leading back towards it, right? He's going to that far generator over there. Smart of him. They're just going to pressure two different generators. I'm going to have to commit to one of them, and honestly, I think I might just commit to this Ace. This arena is definitely the better looper between the two of them, and on top of that, she's playing more aggressive. But I also have to get an injure on her here. Because otherwise she's just gonna have a free time. She's gonna fake it. Yep. Oh, she's uh, <laughs> a little stunned there. She's just gonna run across the map to heal, and I'm gonna go over here and pressure the Ace. Because if she has adrenaline, then she'll uh, have. Even though she won't heal from it, she'll still get the speed burst, and that'll hurt me. So run over to the killer shack. He doesn't have a lot left in this area. I think he has a killer shack pallet, right? Maybe. Yet. No, he doesn't even have a killer check pal left, so he should just go down here. As Arena just got injured, so, uh, or sorry, just got completely infected. Dead hard from the ace there, lagged the shit out of my game for some reason. But he doesn't make it anywhere off it. Yeah, she's gonna just sit on the generator. I'm gonna go ahead and pick him up, hook him back here, and take this corrupt so I can go over there and kick the generator pop goes a weasel for free, because she'll be too scared to sit on it. Yep, that's exactly why. So I'll kick this generator and pop goes a weasel. I saw her heading over towards the left. She's probably gonna try and loop around the water tower here to get to the to get to the unhook. I'm not sure though. Oh, he just killed himself so that she could try and get the hatch, but I know exactly where the hatch is, so. I uh, hopefully I can get here in time. I don't actually know if I can. Yeah, I can. But where are the doors? Both the doors are on the same side of the map, which is really nice for me. I don't know where this arena is, in all honesty. She'll probably end up uh, cleansing somewhere and then trying to run over towards the doors, but I have okay. She's running over to that one. On the right, never mind. We'll see. Oh, never mind. She. Hello. I know you're around here. She's looping back in this direction for some reason. Uh, do you have a key? Hello. What are you doing? She had a no. She has a medkit in her hand. I guess she just wants to loot me as much as possible so that she can get uh so she can get as many uh, as many points as possible. Which is fine by me, I guess. 
Hey, you guys saw how I could basically just take control of the map. I'll fake like I'm doubling back there. Oh, I, me I messed up my moonwalk either way, but this arena is really solid. She's uh, she's mind gaming really well. Unfortunately, though, she only has a spout left, and I don't even know. Oh, she said her. I don't think I even saw her dead heart this entire game. I'll just kick it because there's no point to mind gaming it. It's an unmind gameable pal to begin with. Nice. Oh, I thought I heard her on my right there. I guess not. I got caught in the fucking wall again. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to chase this arena earlier. I wanted to get an injure under her because that would, uh. Because that would buy me time considering how much these guys love going to heal and cleanse and all that, but you don't make that. Nope. Yeah, you guys got to see how I basically just took control over this one side of the map. Even though they did those other four generators, or those other, no, well, yeah, I guess four, but those generators on that side of the map, they did pretty quickly. Doesn't really matter because I I ended up getting a, punishing that bill really early on for them just farming the shadow him over and over again, honestly. And uh, from that, I got to, um, I got to basically just snowball into victory thanks to them it's starting to cleanse over in that back area where I had all my generators set up, where I already had a kill, and it just really bought me a lot of time thanks to being able to thanks to being able to just down people in that general area and keep them there. And that's that's my game plan for a lot of ga a lot of killers. You'll notice I just want to try and control one general area as best as I can, whether that means uh, setting a ton of traps in there if I'm playing something like Trapper or, or Demogorgon or um, or hag, or if that just means trying to run a perk like corrupt intervention, pop goes a weasel to really help me punish anyone that's going for that's trying to do generators in that area. That bill had a beefy ass med kit, dude. Holy shit! This is like five full char, five full heals. I'm pretty sure. This purple med kit with these two add-ons, I'm pretty sure, it gives you five heals, which is awesome because I was playing plague and they can't heal against plague. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.